a writer writes. So if, if you really want to be in this business, you need to write a page a day. And it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a, one story that you're working on consecutively, but he, this is what Frank would look at us and say, if you do this, because part of being a writer is not just talent, it's also discipline. Yeah. If you write every single day, one page, you can't cheat. You can't write three pages and then the next day go, well, I did three pages yesterday, so I'll just skip today. Every day you have to write at least one page. At the end, you will have 365 pages. It's math. And you will be a better writer. If a screenplay is 100 pages long, you will have three screenplays and probably a pilot. And you now have the ability to, when someone says to you, do you have something that I can read? You can say, actually, I like this script and this script. Or you can write six pilots. Or you can write six episodes of SWAT. Like or, the- or Jeff, you can also rewrite that one page five days in a row. Because it's just not good. <laughs> no, you need to move forward. There's, You will find that you'll write and then you'll rewrite something and or you'll throw that out and start over again and, and all those kinds of things. Um, I, I remember when I was in film school that one day I just, I, I did a, you know, all work and no play makes Jeff a dull boy. And I just wrote that and went, ah, but it doesn't get you anywhere when you do that. You have to, you have to commit that this is what you're going to do. And that's, and we haven't even gotten to the magic of having an agent or a manager or someone who's representing you out there if you're not represented and you don't have anybody that can get your material to this actor or this or the Jeff Lowe who's at Marvel or Palsy who you saw on this thing, how can I get in my material? Well, you're gonna need an agent to do that. And so that agent's gonna say, well, can I read your material? I promise you that if you say January 10th, 2022, I am ready to go get an agent, you will have better material than you currently have right now. You just will. Mm. Um, and so, and and what you're thinking, like the things that I want to write about now are not the things that I wanted to write about 10 years ago. Um, and that has to do with age and things that happen to you personally and things that are happening in the world. Yeah. Like like I, the idea of, of, you know, what's happening politically and what's happening with trust and what's happening with diversity and what's happening with, with health issues and what's happening to the world. Like, the fact that we're all communicating this way, like it changes that movie that you really wanted to make about how the Golden Gate Bridge was built. Like you have to, at some point say to yourself, is that still relevant? It's relevant to me. I love the Golden Gate Bridge. It's my favorite bridge in the whole world. I want to write a movie about the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. For who? And, and so those are the things that, that change your life as a writer all the time. And sometimes you're halfway through a script and suddenly you go, but I love Margaret. And I, and I wrote this movie because I hated Margaret. And so now I'm halfway through, do I finish this movie where I killed Margaret 14 times? And so, I, you know, those are the things that happen. That's I'm not sorry, Margaret. At all. That's not <laughs> yeah. at all. Sorry to all the Margarets out there. No. That's but really powerful. My sister's name is Margaret, Jeff. Thank yeah. you. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. No, yeah, our dog's uh, name is Margaret. I will add one thing to what Jeff said about just writing every day. There's also a quote from Stephen King who says, never trust a writer who has written more than he has read. And, and wow. so in addition to writing every day, read. And, and, and binging TV shows on Netflix doesn't count. Like, look at the written page. You can now buy like scripts on Amazon of popular TV shows and stuff. Like there's compilations and there's drafts and, you know, not just scripts, but novels. And like, you know, read, just see what's out there and how, how the words on the page are crafted depending on the format. Because writing a, writing a novel is very different than writing a, a treatment for a TV show or an outline or a script or a character biography or, or, or. There are many different uh, kinds of writing that you have to uh, uh, be proficient at in order to make it in this business. And, and you know, writing a pitch, figuring out how to organize your thoughts in a way that you can communicate them effectively in a certain amount of time, that's writing. Um, it, so, so reading those things and, and seeing what other people have written to me was very helpful. I mean, one of the first things I did when I was out here and I just started doing it was I went to the Writers Guild Library 
which is open to the public. And you go and you can you can look at a script and sit at a table like a library and check it out and and just sit there and read it. And I read The Fugitive and, and, and I read Sunset Boulevard. And I read, I mean, there's just, there's a ton of stuff out there. So I would also give that piece of advice is, is read as well as write. The sun-